Hey, what is up, guys? It's Jackson Raven Origami here, and today I will be making a demo of the newest model that I just created. It's a uh, sitting, squatting boy. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait. Oh, and I broke it. The back is kind of bad. I don't know, but. So, sitting, squatting, clapping boy. I have no idea why I invented this. It's really weird. It's like, wah, wah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This model's kind of strange. I invented it during advisory at middle school. So yeah, that's fun. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty cool model. I, I'm happy with it, but I really don't know how to recreate it. It took a while to make, so. Yeah, and I was just free folding during this, so I mean it's pretty cool. You can even I, I even like made the head and stuff. He he kinda looks like Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. Family Guy is like my favorite show by the way. He looks like Stewie Griffin. And if you don't know who Stewie Griffin is, he's a guy that has a foot that has a head shaped like a football. Like the American football, like or, or, or if you're in England, a rugby ball. But yeah, actually, I think he's more shaped like a rugby ball. But I have no idea why I'm talking about that. But yeah, uh, so it basically is a. I started off with a preliminary base or square base, uh, whatever you want to call it. But I started off with that, and then I made another square base on top of it so it's like a double i started with a double square base so it's kind of off of like jeremy schaefer's jack-o-lantern pop-up card but yeah i thought i i like the idea of the um double square base i think that's pretty cool and should be made more of so uh this model is actually partially detailed not much i mean of course, when he's squatting, you can literally see how the back of him is just the um, point of the square base, or the top of the square base, and it's kind of weird, I don't know. I might try to add something to his hands, but I I couldn't make fingers, like, that would be way too difficult. I think it's already, like, two layers of paper here or something, I don't know, but yeah, I think it would just be difficult. So, what I do is, in the back, I just go like that. Not that hard. I mean, there's this little flap. I don't know what to do with this, and it's kind of bugging me. You can, I, I, I can just tuck it in here, but then, it, whatever, that just pops out. And that's kind of annoying. So, I don't know what to do with this little flappy thing. But it's annoying, and I want to get rid of it, so. I don't want to kind of, I might be able to, if, hmm. so, like, if you, um, so, like, look at this, it, you can make a rabbit ear, but then it's kind of just stretching away. It needs to be attached, I think. I mean, it sort of works if you hold it near the tip. It's kind of inappropriate, kind of not inappropriate, but I have a dirty mind, so yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that is the model, and stay tuned for the next model that I'm going to demo, which is the Origami Spread Hack Solution by Eric Jardet. And yeah, again, this model is designed by me. I'm definitely not posting a tutorial, because I have no idea how I'm going to smile, but I have an idea. But like, sort of. I, I, I don't want to recreate it. It's gonna be too difficult. Um, but yeah. You know, I I just noticed you you can use this little flap as like a stand. So it's like here. Like that. Although now he kind of looks like a dog from that angle. Um. But, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo, and I will see you guys in the next video.